Hello, and welcome to my QTP video tutorial where I will show you how to write a function with no inputs and no return. In this video, I'll be covering the following three topics. First, what is a function with no inputs and no return? Second, what is a real world example of a function with no inputs and no return value? And third, how do I write the code to use it? As a reminder to stay up to date with my latest videos, make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button. This moves us to the first topic which asks the question, what is a function with no inputs and no return? First off, a function is a reusable piece of code that has a specific task it is responsible for doing. You have the ability to pass in inputs, but this is optional. For this video, we will not be using inputs. You also have the ability to pass out a return value, but this is optional as well. And again, for this video, we will not be sending out a return value. This now moves us to the second topic, which asks the question, what is a real world example of a function with no inputs and no return? Let's imagine for a moment that you needed to open an Internet Explorer browser window. You did not need to tell it which page to navigate to once it opened and you did not need to wait to make sure that it loaded properly before moving on. This is an example of a function with no inputs and no return values. The function itself of the repeatable code is the launching of the web browser. Since we do not need to tell it which page to navigate to, there's no need for an input value. And since we do not need to wait to make sure that it loaded properly, we do not need to wait to send out a return value either. This now moves us to the third topic, which asks the question, how do I write the code to use it? I will now show you how to write the code in QTP to create a function that has no inputs and no returns. To create a function, you need to begin by typing the word function, then hitting the space bar. You'll notice that once I hit the space bar, QTP went ahead and filled in some additional code for me. The reason for this is that QTP recognized that I was looking to create a function since I had typed the word function. It knows that I need to create code in the body of the function that would be executed when the function is called. So it went ahead and created an empty line at line 2 for me. Then it also knows that I need to have the words end function at the end of the function for the code to work properly. So it went ahead and filled in that for me as well. We're now ready to give our function a name. So to go back to the real world example that I had mentioned a couple of slides before, I will call our function open IE browser, but you can call your function anything you would like. It doesn't make a difference. Once you've typed in the name of your function, you then need to type an open parentheses. This is where we will now create the inputs that could be used to send values into our function. Inputs are optional. You do not need to send them, but you can if you would like. If you do send in inputs, you can send in one, two, or as many as you would like. However, once you've finished putting in all of the inputs, or if you don't put in any inputs at all, like what we're going to use for this example, you can just go ahead and type in a closing parentheses, then hit the enter key to move into the body of the function. We're now ready to type in the code that would be executed if the function is called. In our example, all we're looking to do is launch an Internet Explorer browser window and then for the function to end. We don't need a return value, so there's no additional code we need to put in for that. So to launch an Internet Explorer browser window, all we need to do is just type in systemutil.run. Now for more information on how to use systemutil.run in your scripts, feel free to reference one of my other videos where I go into more information on those. Once you've typed in that command, you can then hit the space bar, type in open quotation, and then I explore. That's I E X P L O R E. And then a closing quotation. Now, at this point, if you were to call this function, QTP would automatically launch an Internet Explorer browser window, and the page would load up with whatever the default web page is when the browser typically loads. And again, in this example, since we're not sending out a return value, there's no other code that we need to type in. So this now concludes our video where I've shown you how to create a function 
that does not have inputs and that does not have a return value. Thank you, and I hope that you have a great day.